Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and if you are a Muslim, welcome. And if you are a Christian, for sure you are welcome. And if you are an atheist, oh boy, come on, welcome. You know, because I'm bored, I said to myself, let us go, you know, like when you have nothing, I mean, I don't know, the Muslims not, don't call us, they don't dare. So I said to myself, let us go and play. You know, like, pff, let us look after the kids. So, uh, you know, like uh, it appeared in front of me, a video of uh, Sister Farid. I have to whisper because I don't want him to hear us. You know, if he hear us, he might join us. And if he join us, I will be in trouble. <clears throat> you know, we told this kid, if you are brave enough, call me, I will call you. And the one who hang up first is the loser. Still him with the word. Like me, my hijab, he hang up on me seven times in less than three minutes. <laughs> anyway, so today, uh, Brother uh, Fifi is going to explain to you how Christian prince lie. And I really enjoy the response. It's fantastic. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. This is perhaps one of CP's most awkward videos. And, and this is why I, 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 I choose that, because this is the most awkward. I mean, come on. I'm not going to choose something that awkward. I mean, it's this is the best you can do. Okay. Get your kids out of the room. I'm serious. Get your kids out of the room. We will talk about Muhammad. <laughs> why are you going to read the hate where it says, go and buy the penis of your father, which your prophet said? Why you want to get the kids out of the room? And what do you mean kids? Like Aisha, she was six years old. Is that the kid you're talking about? Or in the video, you said you told us that she, she was mature and she had her period. <laughs> when in the hadith it says she did not reach her period until she had the age of 40. 14, sorry. What a potato. Hey kids, Aisha, leave the room. We will talk about panties. Go ahead. There he is. I'm not going to be responsible for this one. She is not responsible. Disclaimer. Please. Disclaimer. Yalla, bismillah. Yalla. Yalla. Bismillah. In the name of Allah. You will talk about panties in the name of Allah. I mean, what's wrong with you? Yalla, bismillah. Let us talk about panties. Actually, it match. You are right. You choose the perfect name to the perfect topic. Yalla. Oh, no problem. Chapter 33, verse number 15. Here we go. Here we go. And this is only a privilege to Muhammad. Only. Only a privilege to Muhammad. Any believe in women. And any believe in women who dictate her panty to the Prophet. If the Prophet wished to with her, to, she doesn't say, you know, it says to, to sleep with her. And this is only for thee, not for the believer. Isn't it obvious that this is a corrupt verse made by the corrupt man Muhammad for the benefit of Muhammad? Who is the only one who get the benefit of this privilege, Muhammad? For those curious, you'll realize by returning to commentaries that the verse is referring to the Prophet, peace be upon him, being allowed to get married without paying a dowry. CP. How I missed that. Muhammad is getting sex for free. Brothers and sisters, Ibn Kathir. And a believing woman, if she offer herself to the prophet, and the prophet wishes to marry her, <laughs> a privilege for you only. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why Muhammad should not pay for the sex he will get from the women? Isn't it you Muslim? You say that the dowry is the right of the women for her protection. And where it says to with her, and why he have. I mean, is he a Muslim or he is above Islam? Obviously, Muhammad have a privilege, all of them about money and sex. And this is your translation, a privilege for you only. Which a prophet, he have a privilege for him only. Isn't it the prophet is the first one who to follow the law? Or he have a, his own law? God, he made a special law for Muhammad, so he's not a Muslim? Because now, if we say to you, 
Is that for Muslim? You will say no. This is not for Muslims. So this is for who? Muhammad was a Hindu? And look, in my video, I was showing Tafsir Al-Qurtubi. He went to Tafsir Ibn Kathir where he said nothing. Because we are talking about what? We are talking about not only women offer herself, we are talking about Zainab, Muhammad is sleeping with Zainab, Muhammad doing the boom boom to Zainab, Muhammad he spy at Zainab, Muhammad he see Zainab, standing, seeing, see through clothing. All of this is gone. He went to Ibn Kathir because there's nothing. And from all the tafsir, he called this. This, that's it, he refuted me. That's it, the story is over. And if I say to him, do you accept Ibn Kathir for different verses? He will say no. <laughs> like this idiot, when he spoke to me with Mimi Hijab, he said to me, oh, you said that uh, 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 Bulos, uh, Paul, is a messenger of Allah in Ibn Kathir book. Huh? It says there the reporter is this guy. Oh, oh, give us, give us, I give you three, three seconds to give me the reference. 30 seconds. And then I was reading from different book of Ibn Kathir. And both idiots, they were reading the same tafsir. I was reading from different book. I told him, I'm reading from different book, you idiot. So he refuted me now by saying, Ibn Kathir, he said, this is only privilege for the prophet just not to pay the worry. That's all. That's all. Yeah. That's the only privilege he got. Poor Muhammad. Looks like Allah is not favoring Muhammad at all. Go. Let us hear more. He has a completely different interpretation, um, which is... I has? I was reading Al-Qurtubi. <laughs> it's my interpretation. <laughs> much more than just an interpretation. Rather, it's just an outright lie. Hey, this, is, this is what it says. This is about those are those are the the whores of Muhammad. They are at his, they are at his wives. They are offering themselves for sex. First lie, CPR use of the verse is saying that this ruling is a free pass for the Prophet peace be upon him to have sex with whomever he likes. The text does not say this, and we can see quite clearly that the rev that the verse. Hold on, look guys, the text, and look, he have an arrow. It says whoever wished you with her. <laughs> so now it's not about having sex with everybody. It's whoever he wished to with, brother. I mean, don't you see it? Are you blind? Look, look, he got you busted. Look, whoever he wished to with, how he with her. This is your Muslim translation. Whoever he wish. It's not for, it's not, it's not true. Not every woman he was, whoever he wished, but not every woman, only the one he wished. To what? To wed her. What, you know, the word with her here, which is your translation, mean what exactly? He will put her in the shelf? <laughs> he will take her, put her in the storage room? <laughs> in the kitchen? Or in the bedroom? Potato. Get us more pastel, please. Go ahead. Let us continue is referring to marriage ah, That's so marriage whoever he want to marry i mean the muslim they can have only four wives according to fifi muhammad he can marry as many as he wish privilege privilege brother only i mean what's wrong with that okay but if a muslim he have five wives like let us say he have four and then he got number five is that adultery in islam they would say yes haram Ram, brother. Okay, so Muhammad, wife number five, wife number six, wife number seven, wife number eight, wife number nine, wife number ten, wife number twelve. To continue to tomorrow, are adultery? No, brother. It is not adultery because it's a privilege for the prophet. <laughs> Unbelievable. So. The prophet is a poor guy. I mean, come on, he have too much stress on him. And Allah give him privilege to his private part. Look, every uh, 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 sister Fifi, uh, four, you know, he can be one of four chickens, marry in one rooster. But her husband, he cannot marry the chicken number five. Haram, that's adultery, fornication. 
But the prophet, he can do fornication number five, fornication number six, fornication number seven, fornication number eight, fornication number 10, fornication number 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, because he's a prophet. It's a privilege. I mean, come on, have you been a prophet before? They will say to you, what about like in the Old Testament, it says there is a prophet, he has 700 wives. It's not God, this guy is a king and he was a lousy person. And even the God, he condemned his behavior. And the story even mentioned in your book. He have 99 goats. My brother, he have 99 goats. So Muhammad, he have a privilege and the privilege is about his private part. And yet, the prophet, he don't have sex with whoever he want, only with the women he wish, between two bracket, with her. I'm convinced. And actually, I'm silenced. Continue. It's not what it says. It's, this is what it says. Any woman, she can give her to the prophet. And not only that, Muhammad, well, has, um, hold on. After that, Muhammad, he started receiving ugly women. They want to sleep with him. And Muhammad, he look at them. They are disgusting. So look what he did. He made the verse right after it. He says, Though may differ who you know the, the one the one who turned away from him or the one who chose so Muhammad he can okay let us say you come to him he don't like how you look like maybe you're older so he say okay oh oh I, this is too much too many women they are coming to sleep with me so what I will do now so he made a verse says that Allah told me I might choose and I might delay the one later later you know later so Muhammad he was giving himself more excuse to use and abuse women because there's many ugly women they start coming to Muhammad and the reason they want to sleep with him because if they sleep with Muhammad they will be considered as women of Muhammad and that means they will have a free food forever they will have a retirement plan they will have respect to the believers because that's it they are the excuse my language they are the bitches of Muhammad second lie by CP there is no evidence for his claim that this has to do with unattractive women this is nothing more than an outright lie the previous verse, verse 50, doesn't even state that it is an obligation upon him to have intercourse with every woman that... Look like what? It's not obligation for him. It's a privilege you hear. Do you see the Do you see the difference between obligation and privilege? Isn't it you who posed for us a second ago saying, this is a privilege? How a privilege will be obligation? Idiot. So he is trying to refute me saying that this is not obligation. <laughs> for sure it's not obligation but now he have to give an excuse why he is not accepting the offers let us go to the hadith so we can love together the yellow pages of the Muhammadan the laundry of Muhammad I was among the people with the Prophet when the women stood up and said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, she has offered herself between two brackets in marriage. <laughs> it's so handsome. I mean, you cannot, you cannot do what you can say. I mean, women, they are lined up. So see what you think of her. He, remi he reminded silent. <laughs> He got scared, like, what is that? <laughs> what I did to myself, I said, any woman, she offer herself, and those women are offering themselves. And look at this woman. This woman, she don't look like a woman. She looked like a man. And the prophet did not give an answer. He was thinking what I would do now. I will get rid of her. Then she stood up again, and she said, oh, messenger of Allah, you know, she had offered herself in marriage to you. So see, what do you think of her? <laughs> and Muhammad is not answering, obviously. He don't like her. Like what? <laughs> so a man stood up and said, Marry her to me, O Messenger of Allah. He said, Do you have anything? Look, Muhammad want to do business. He want to get rid of the woman right away. F finally, we got somebody. Okay, uh, do, you, do you have anything? Uh, the guy, he said, No. He said, uh, go and look, uh, even if you have a, a, a ring of iron, I will just take her away. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So he went and looked and he came and he said, I could not find anything. <laughs> not even an iron ring. He said, have you memorized anything from the Quran? He said, yes, surah such and such. He said, okay, I will marry you to her in the basis of memorizing the Quran. <laughs> But the woman she offer herself to the Prophet. So is it a privilege that if a woman she offer herself to you, you give her to someone else? Did, did, did he even ask the woman, do you like to marry him? If this is marriage. Shouldn't he ask the woman? I mean, the woman she came, she said, I want Muhammad. I'm crazy about Muhammad. Muhammad, he is sexy and you know it. And then what do you do? Because she is a bad looking woman, obviously. He gave her to someone else. Who gave you the right? Is that a privilege to the Prophet? I marry her to you? Or she gave herself to me, so now I own her. So I can give her to you. What is that? Based in what logic, what religion? A woman, she offer herself to the Prophet. The Prophet, he gave her to someone else. Hmm? So he said, this is not the true. Actually, it's a, the verse about the prophet, he differ any he like, he don't like. This is just, uh, you know, it's not obligation anyway. So why, so are you saying the verse there where it says any women, the pro, so if the prophet, he want to differ any, there's no need for it? Are you saying, Fifi, that Allah made a mistake? And he said something is not needed. That's what you said. You said, actually, in fact, it's not obligation. So what's the point of this verse? If it's not obligation anyway. Correct, guys? We heard Fifi saying that it's not an obligation. And as long as it's not obligation, that means there's no reason for this verse to come. To say, oh, okay, you know what? You can uh, you can defer any, you can delay, you can refuse, you can accept. If if it is not obligation anyway. So what the point of this verse? Obviously, the point is Muhammad giving himself an excuse that because he opened the door for offer. And people want to know why their offer is rejected. Like you go to a government and you are a good citizen like Muhammad, you only kill and rape and steal. That's only the crime you do. You're a good citizen. And then you apply for the government and they say to you, your application is rejected. Shouldn't you say no? Why? So this verse here, verse number 51 in chapter 33, says you may differ, turn off any of them, away and you can receive any who please you this is too is a privilege to the prophet see obviously allah he is not favoring muhammad's sexual desire and this is why aisha she said Inni ara rabbuka ila hawaka ya Muhammad. I see that your God, Muhammad, he rushed into your desire, Muhammad. What, is that, what desire is he talking about? Sex. Actually, she said, I was jealous. I was jealous. Jealous from what? So Muhammad, by giving those verses, he silenced the wives who start complaining. In the same time, he gave a legal reasoning for sleeping around with as many as he went he want because it's a privilege let us go back to our sister fifi peace upon her approaches him for verse 51 to be introduced as an alleged cop out um of course i'm referring to cp's sinister interpretation lady, lady do you see what it says here yes thank you ho ha Yes, thank you, Hoha, is a continued verse and you speak Arabic, don't you? Okay, so is it if continue? You is it continue? Yes or no? Am I lying? It's I in G to F her. This is not to marry her. Marry, you marry only once. Okay, not so why does it say the prophet wishes to wed her? What is that? What mean? is with her? There's no with her here. 
Okay, so, and nikah in Arabic means marriage. No, no, let me show you. Here we go. I will show you from your Islamic Islamic website. What is the nikah mean? Give me a second. Here we go. We don't make things up, lady. The third lie by CP is that the term yastankihuha does not mean to wed. In fact, the common usage of the term yastankih is to wed. His denial of this and preference of to have intercourse is one that is hate-driven. CP will be refuting himself shortly, by the way. Let us see. In okay. Islam, marriage is not restricted of a, a, a platonic relationship between a husband and wife, nor it is a sl uh, uh, solely uh, for a provocation. The Islamic term of marriage is nikah. Do you see it? Literally, yeah. literally means sexual intercourse. So marriage is about... See how the CP he refuted himself? Fifi, he said, in few seconds, the CP would refute himself. How? This is the refutation. Yeah, are you serious? I'm not saying that. It's you who's saying that. There's no, there's no marriage in Islam. You don't use the word marriage. You say the F word. We, as an Arab Christian, we use the word zawaj. You, as a Muslim, you use nikah, the F word. It's quite funny how CP seems to think that he's found something here that's useful for him. It doesn't matter if the origin of a word is... Stop! The origin of the word? This is the origin, but it's the same word. What origin? And this is your Muslim website. They are not saying the origin. They are saying literally means sexual intercourse. And now Fifi, he will make a cartoon. Look at this cartoon. To refute me, cartoon. Is used in a way... <laughs> If the common usage of the term has changed, ah, the common usage it says it says, but this is your website. This is published now, 2020, 21. It says the word nika literally means sexual intercourse. Not used to be idiot. Not one upon the time used to be idiot. It says. The Islamic term of marriage nikah literally means, means now, means not yesterday, not the day before, not the origin, potato. In this case, this is, this is explained why he don't dare to call me or let him, let me call him. This is the origin, brother. CP is driven by hate. This is the origin, where it says the origin. <laughs> Anybody see the word origin? It says means, literally means. In Arabic, we have a word for marriage. It's called zawaj. Use it. Why you want to use the word which is, according to Fifi, originally mean a few. Why you want to use it? He just admitted, according to him, this is originally, brother, originally. But the Muslim website says no. Literally means, means, means. This is what it means. Not used to mean, before it used to mean, in the past used to mean, centuries ago it used to mean, thousands of years used to mean. It's, it means. Means. And this is your Muslim website. So he could not answer. So he said, originally, this is originally, brother. See, we got you busted. And now he will make a cartoon for you. So you can laugh. I'm gonna laugh too. Originally. Play the cartoon for us. Imagine this scenario. A contracting company purchases a crane for $100,000. After making the purchase, the salesman pulls out a dead crane from behind the desk. The contractor says, What the heck is this? The salesman, a middle-aged, grumpy Arab Christian, responds, I am a scholar, you are a donkey. The salesman is arrested for fraud and the people rejoice. <laughs> Yay! Yay! The end. The end. There's none. <laughs> And he is arrested. This is the most important part in the story. He got arrested too. You potato. You just made yourself a joke. So you are saying that your God Allah is using a word which originally mean to F you. 
because he is short in the language. And now there's a guy, he is a middle-aged Christian, as you called him, he's a Grimby. <laughs> like what? You know, 54 and 6 years old girl together? Hey, wife, what are you? Come on, come from under the table. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Grimby. So, Allah, brothers and sisters, this is the origin of the world. Yes, this is true. Fifi has agreed. It's the origin of the word mean to if you. And the word to if you became a you. Subhanallah. <laughs> and look in the video, I asked the women why it is I in G. If you want to marry, you say, I want to marry, not I in G. You don't, you don't do marry every five seconds. You know, you marry the women once and that's it. Yes, thank you. So he is going to if her non-stop. Excuse my language. But I'm so glad about your cartoon. And obviously, you did refute me. Crane. Crane, the same word, the crane. It can be used for the word, for a bird, and can be used for a, for a machine. Like <laughs> You idiot. The word you are using in the Quran for the marriage is zawaj. Zawaj. Let us, let us show you something to get this potato busted. He is too little, but as, because I'm bored, as you see, what we can do. That's what happens when you are bored. We are typing in English again. Let's just type in Arabic. Me. Let us see how the word Yankah will work for Fifi and Mimi and Sisi. This is a chapter four. This is a chapter four. It says the one who could not do nikah to the believing women, free believing women. You see here the word with, with. This is the word nikah supposedly. They translate it as with. Okay. You may wed believing girl among those who your right hand process. What? This is what it says. Let us go back a little bit. It's forbidden for you, married women, additional to your mother, your sister, your daughter. Forbidden for you. Okay. Forbidden to do what? To do nikah. Okay. It says here, If this is marriage, it's mean, don't marry who your father married before you. Perfect. So the word here, the origin word is to if them. According to Fifi now, it's not to if them, it's to marry them. So marry not women who your father married or he slept with. Let us see. Forbidden for you, between two brackets, in marriage. Okay. Those following women, your mother, daughter, sister, father, sister, mother, sister, etc. All of those women are forbidden for you to do nikah with them. According to Fifi, this is marriage. Let us see here. Also forbidden for you, women already are married, except. <laughs> Whom your right hand possess. So you do nikah with married women. You marry them or you if them. They are married. You're a prophet. He made a verse in the Quran saying, you can do nikah to women who they are already married. So it's already those women who they are already married. They are forbidden for you, except 
do you marry a woman already married or you F them? The verse after it, it goes farther. Hey, Abdullah, what are we finished the video, my friend? I will let you call me, no problem. Just give me a say. Give me some time. I told you, finish the topic, we will give you, we will take your call. You are welcome. Read this verse here with me. If any of you could not have nikah to a free woman, what he will do? Let us change the translator. Because it's lawful for you to sleep with your slaves anyway. So what do you mean wed? What do you mean wed? They keep repeating, saying to marry, to marry, to marry. Okay, as an example, Muhammad, he have a woman. She is his slave. Her name, her name is Mary the Copt. Did he do nikah to her or he didn't marry her? The answer, he did nikah to her. And this is the story where Muhammad got busted by his wife and she found him sleeping with Mary the Copt. Was Muhammad doing nikah to her as F word or nikah to her as wedding her? Muslims, you know, they say to you, oh, this is a woman he married. Mm, liars. We can show you the fatwa where it says the Prophet never married Mary the Copt. So according to what law he was sleeping with her, they will say to you, she is his right hand possess. Stupid. The right hand possess is women who they are slaves from war. Mary, she is not. She was a gift. Your prophet here received gift of human trafficking. He received the gift. He opened the box, Amazon shipping. He found Mary, her cousins, her cousins, her the whole family shipped to him. Hmm? Let us find the fatwa. So the Muslim will not say he married her. You know them. <clears throat> oh, my stomach is talking. Okay. I'm just searching for the the thing. The fatwa. Okay. Here we go. This is the Muslim website, Islam question and answer. Those supposedly are scholars, not like Fifi and Mimi and Susu. Fifi he say Allah have hands. Muhammad Hijab, he says, who said so? <laughs> okay. Question. Was Maria al Kuptiya one of the mothers of the believers? Muhammad even made the mother of the believers so nobody can sleep with them. Privilege, privilege to the Prophet. He sleep with women that said he can, nobody can have her. Even after he died. He owned the women. Question. There's no doubt that Maria da Coptia was the cucumber. I don't think, I don't know how to say the word. Concubine? Uh, <laughs> she was the cucumber of the Prophet. He insert her as he wish. Praise be to Allah. The answer. The Prophet, peace and blessing upon him, you know, he did not marry Maria da Coptia. Rather, she was a sex slave. And she is a gift from the ruler ruler of Egypt. So the Quran says it is lawful for you to F women who they are, even if they are married. As we showed you in chapter 4, verse 24. Even if they are married, you can do nikah to them. So nikah cannot be marriage. Muhammad was doing nikah to marry the Copt without marriage. And he never married her. 
and the Quran gave Muhammad license to have sex with right hand possessed from war. This woman, as you see, she was given to him by Al Muqawas, Al Muqawas, the ruler of Egypt. And she was a Christian woman who used to rape her every day. He did not marry her. What kind of a man he is? You see, when Abraham, he wanted to have a child, and Sarah is old, and he is old, and she cannot have a child, he married his servant. He did not jump in her bed and rape her. Muhammad the rapist was raping his slaves, who they are not even from war. Not only Sophia and Juria and endless number of women, who they are married. He slept with her, slept with them, and he raped them. Muhammad even, he go and he go after the maid. She is a maid. She's a servant, slave, yes. But there's no license in the Quran that says you can have sex with women who they are giving to you as a gift. It's only Malakatul Yameen. You can ask what is Malakatul Yameen. You will see they are the captive of war. What is Malikat Al Yameen? I will search in Prophet Google. Peace be upon him. And right away we get the answer islamiccity.org hmm? islamiccity.org ask an imam yeah, I, I think this is uh, Fifi asking the question he says I am a Muslim boy from Bahrain mm, okay so he's asking what is Malakatul Yameen what is a Malakatul Yami? Uh, no, this is very long. I will read all of this. What is that? Give me a break. By the time I finish it, the, the people will be sleeping. Okay. Uh, they are a spoil of war. The Mujahideen took positions of slave women as them take position of the spoil of war. Let us go to a different website. This is too much reading for nothing. Oh, look, there's too many videos, you know? Too many videos, brother. Questions about Islam. So this is a question about Islam okay uh, milk mean means uh, uh, here we go uh, chopping with women outside of marriage Malik uh, you know the best way I think he got to her well, this is a story here let us go to the Quran. Better from just looking around. Actually, it's in front of us where we are looking. Here we go. In the Muslim translation, it says the captive, the captives. Read it. It's forbidden for you, married women. They are forbidden for you. Save those who they are captive. What do you do to them? You do nikah. So they are captive. Those are the right hand process. Why don't I go and look around? It's in front of us. So Muhammad, he legalize it and he using the if word instead of the word marriage because there is no marriage in Islam. You know, when Muhammad, he said, if any man and women, they like to if each other for three days and three nights. Did he say the word marriage? Did he mention the word marriage? Let us go and see.
in the Muslim translation, they are they added the word marriage. But is it true the word marriage is there? No, never. Read carefully. Ayyuma rajulin wa imra'a tawafaqa fa ishratu ma baynahu ma thalathu layalin fa ina habba an yatazayada aw yatataraka tataraka Can we take this to the Google translation? Shall we? And then we will find there is no word marriages exist. And look, the chapter name forbidden it of nikah al muta'ah. Okay, if nikah is marriage, <laughs> Fifi and Mimi, they get upset when I say sons of muta. Well, if muta is marriage, why you get upset? Go watch their video. They said, do he dare to say that, that to us face to face? Mm -hmm. So, nikah al muta, then it's not marriage, obviously. So, if I say to you, nikah, you are sons of muta, obviously, you did not understand it's son of marriage. You understood it as son of prostitution. For this is nothing but prostitution. What is the marriage here? And now if we take the, this hadith, and we take it to Google Translation, peace upon him, and we click at Translate. In the front of you, the Arabic and the English, which means that both sides now will turn to be English. Translate to English. The challenge is, are we going to find here in Arabic the word marriage? Or the Muslim, they inserted it here to marry temporarily. What kind of religion this religion is to marry temporarily? Let us click a translation. I want you to focus with me, please, in the Arabic translation where it's going to turn into English by the magic of Google. Find me the word marriage in the Arabic translation. Uh, uh, there's no marriage. Any women and men, they agree together to do boom boom for three nights, not the, the translation here is wrong, ten nights, three nights, and they'd like to increase they, you know, uh, they increase if they like to, uh, uh, you know, to t leave each other. They can leave each other, but there's no marriage. And now Fifi, the smart boy, he will say to you, it says here this is abrogated. <laughs> Why Allah, he found that he's wrong? Or because people start asking questions like us, what kind of religious religion is, where people, they go and rent each other for one night stand. So there's no marriage. This is marriage? To hire a woman to sleep with you for three days, this is marriage. And she get paid for it. Unbelievable. And then if we go let us do this a little bit. You know, we mentioned uh, in the video, and uh, Fifi, he answered, you know, he said, Christian Prince would refute himself. He said, the origin of the word is uh, nikah. You know, the origin, the origin. Okay. Let us go there. Let us go there and see what is nikah. And again, we will use Muslim website, not me speaking. Here we showed you that the word nikah means literally sexual intercourse. That's it. Okay. But how you do nikah with the women in Islam? What is the duty of a woman in Islam? 
the women who will do you will do nikah with her. What is that? What she is exactly doing? Read carefully. In some work, let us zoom in. In some work, work, yes, this is a contract of work. A special term is applied to women who participate in the muta. Between uh, the, the in Arabic now they are saying musta'jara. What musta'jara mean? Uh, or rented women. Muta is considered kind of rental. Let us stop here. As long the word muta, the Muslim they add to it the word marriage. So how it is marriage and you are renting the women? Are we following people? How this is a marriage? Oh, the screen is off. I apologize. Okay, okay, it's on, it's on now, it's on, it's on. So how it is marriage? Let us read carefully again from the beginning. In some work, a special term is applied to a woman who participate in muta musta'jara or rented women. Great. Fifi said the word nikah mean marriage. Nikah al muta, marriage for pleasure. I'm just replacing the word, right? The one he is using. Okay. How she is marriage for a pleasure and you are renting her. Any Muslim can tell me how we can rent a woman by marrying her? When you marry a woman, you are renting her or you are renting her private part? Muta is considered a kind of rental because in general, a man basic aim of this kind between two bracket marriage, marriage is sexual enjoyment of the women. Hmm? This is the aim of this marriage, how we can call it marriage. So we rent the women in Islam, she is, she is, she is married. She's rented, yes, but she is married, brother. This is legal, halal, halal. Mm. And my purpose of renting you is sleeping with you, halal. Start to have a family, no, 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 just we want to boom, boom. You know, three days, three night. What is the word marriage? This is why in the hadith of Muhammad, the word marriage never appear. And return the women she receive as a return of his enjoyment she receive a certain amount of money or a property so in the video Fifi he said the Prophet he don't need to pay dowry remember he don't pay, need to pay rent the Prophet he will rent the women for free rented women in defining rental uh just say is that this is gained possession of the benefit of exchange for a specific sum <laughs> the only religion who allow you to rent their daughters and this is a religion and they are talking about this is not if in her it's marrying her hello what a disgusting cult i'm not going to ask now why muhammad he uh, the muslim they say that muhammad he made a hadith uh, uh, forbidding the muta but the muta is a quran how you can forbid the quran by muhammad's statement hmm? Allah, he said, you can rent women. Muhammad later, he changed his mind. And he said, don't do it no more. Actually, there's very strong hadith saying that the prophet of Allah and his followers, they practice muta. Even after Muhammad's death, they continue.
right? Let me try to find you the hadith. Give me a second. And don't worry, I will show you the screen again. Let me give you, let me find the reference. By the way, a few hours later, we will be live on air. I don't know how we can do it now. Maybe I will change the timing. Uh, let us see. All right. This is Sahih Hadith. This is Sahih Muslim. The book of Ifim, not marriage. You see, they say the book, the book of the marriage. As you see, this is muta. What marriage? You're into women. This is marriage. All right. So here it says, Ibn Juraij reported. And now Fifi will say, Ibn Zuraiz is a liar. He's very well known liar. All the companions of the Prophet are liars. And even the one who came up to the Prophet, we are liars. The Muslim, they lie a lot of lies about the Prophet because we Muslims, we cannot trust them. Anything the Muslim, they say to you negative about the Prophet, they are not really, those are liars. <laughs> Ati reported hmm, from Ibn Juraiz, Ata, he said, Abdullah came to perform a blah 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 okay and says and then we did muta he mentioned the temporary marriage this is your translation whereupon he said yes we had been benefiting ourselves by temporary marriage during the lifetime of Muhammad and during the time of Abu Bakr and Omar so this is after Muhammad he died. Abu Bakr, he became a caliphate. Omar became a caliphate. And the Muslims still practicing renting women. So what happened? And this is Sahih Muslim. And let us put it for you on the screen. I know you are complaining. Again. The book of Nikah, the Efim book, Chapter of Nikah al Muta <laughs> permitted, then abrogated, then, abro then a permitted, then abrogated, then permitted, then abrogated. What is this? Is it a joke? Was Allah changing his mind? Allow it, don't allow it, 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 don't allow it. <laughs> and then here it says, uh, they are asking him about the nikah al muta, which means to F a woman by renting her. He said, Yes, yes, we did it. Yes, we had been benefiting ourselves by this effing temporary contract during the lifetime of the Prophet and during the lifetime of Abu Bakr and during the lifetime of Omar. So how the Muslim Sunni, they say, and this is Sunni book, that renting women, if in women as rental, is abrogated. Very weird, stupid cult. They do as they wish. Whoever controlled the chair, he do as he wish. Egypt was Shia, overnight became Sunni. <laughs> Why? We changed the caliphate. <laughs> so now let us continue with the video of our sister Fifi, because this is taking so long. But it's fun, isn't it? You know what we would do. We are having fun. Okay. He slept with many women, but there's none of them became his wife because it was it was just for fun. Fourth lie, I don't even need to comment on this. You don't. This is a baseless claim by CP. Hmm. You are. Let us say you are walking. I'm not. I'm not insulting you, by the way. Don't take it as personal.
let us say you are walking in front of Muhammad and he saw you, he liked you. Uh, uh, according to Islam, if his eyes fail unto you, which means he saw you, he liked you, your husband, he have to divorce you immediately so Muhammad can sleep with you. Qala ibn al-Arabi. Let us see what Qala ibn al-Arabi. This is Quran interpretation for that verse. Read. You know Arabic? That will make it a lot easier for me. Do you see in front of you on the screen the Arabic? At Selens to Sister Fifi to read the 16 privilege of a Prophet Muhammad in the book of Al Qurtubi. Instead, he opened for us Tafsir Ibn Kathir. We did not even have opened. You know, when you refute somebody, shouldn't you even you read that the same page he's reading from? No, we opened it from book. Have nothing to do with the topic. Hmm. This is what I was reading, Al Qurtubi. Let us read together. Do you see it, Sarah? Do you see the Arabic? I see it. Okay, let us say, إِذَا وَقَعَ بَصَرَهُ عَلَى إِمْرَأَ وَجَبَ عَلَى زَوْجِهَا طَلَاقَهَا وَحَلَّ لَهُ نِكَحُهَا How disgusting that is. You just said you're, you don't accept that. If he, if Muhammad, he look at you and he like you, your husband must divorce you immediately. So the prophet, he can, with my respect to you, he can sleep with you. Fifth lie, CP makes the claim that this is according to Islam. And that's just the way it is. Now, in reality, it's a fringe opinion that seems to have only been attributed to al Juwaini. And look, he highlighted in a in in this uh, uh, box. Okay, what do you say, Al Juwaini? Where the where is the Juwaini? Where 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 is the word Al Juwaini? Where, what what is that? And look 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 look. You see the arrow? Because you don't speak Arabic, you think when you see this arrow and he put it between brackets, it says وَقَدْ مَضَى مَالِ الْعُلَمَاءِ فِي قِصَّةِ زَيْدٍ مِنْ هَذَا الْمَعْنَى. This is reported by many scholars, and many of them, you know, they they spoke about it. So you are putting for me the, 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 the bracket there for what? Ah, they don't know Arabic. We say whatever we want. The source that CP provides is Ibn al-Arabi, who actually points readers to a previous section in his commentary where he actually refutes this report and points out that it's weak. Potato. In this bracket you showed me in the screen, it's refuted? You coward potato? Where? Let me draw a blue line in the top of your line. I want this coward, the one who don't dare to call me, neither to let me call him, to tell me where here he refuted that. Coward, read you idiot. It says regarding their saying that the Prophet of Allah he saw her and he fell and she fell into his in his heart, which means he have a lust for her. That is not accepted. Fabatil, you stupid idiot. Where is where is the reputation? He's talking about when he saw her, he fell into her. Where he spoke here about if he see a woman, he have to, the husband have to divorce her so that Muhammad can have her immediately. So the coward, he showed the page, and this is why you will see how fast this page will disappear in the video. He put it like for a few seconds. If I click right now, it's going to go. Disappear right away. He put it for a second. What this guy is saying here, that the statement that when the prophet, he saw her, she, he fell into her. He says, well, how that can be if, if she grew around and he saw her many times. So how come this is the time he, you know, his heart fell for her? And now when she have a husband, he fell for her? And did she offer herself to him? So he's saying, Zainab, she did not offer herself. 
which is that have nothing to do with our topic. I just said to the women, and this is what he's supposed to try to refute, that if the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. You said, this is refuting what I said where? Coward. And now if we take it off, you will see that this statement appear in the screen for a few seconds. Let us go back. How long he will put it in the screen? A previous section in his commentary where he actually refutes this report and points out... Coward, this is not the same commentary and you are an, and you are an idiot. Let me show you. The same statement and the same book, and you are a potato. Hmm. Give me a second, let us find. Hmm. This is what he was quoting. I will put it in Google Translation so everybody will see that this guy is a potato. He don't know what he's talking about. And because he's a potato, he is quoting something have nothing to do at all with the topic. I said that Ibn al-Arabi said that if the prophet, his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. He said, this is refuting here, refuted here. It has opened the screen for you. All right. Fatwa number 47954. How accurate the story of etc. was mentioned in a tabari al-Qurtubi, etc. Talking about the same topic. Then this guy, he searched Google, he did not know where he's quoting from. He said this is from the same place, same place. The place I'm reading from, you idiot. This is was al-Qurtubi. Here, what you quote for me is this part. until here this will appear in the screen so now if we click at translate using google translation are we going to find any relationship of the topic we are talking about that if the prophet his eyes fall into eyes into a woman her husband must divorce her or here he's talking that when he saw her the statement when they say in the tafsir that when the prophet he saw the women which is zainab he liked her she entered his heart. That statement is bottle, can't be accepted because he was with her all the time. And at that time, there is no hijab, which means she is in front of him wearing no hijab so he can see how beautiful she is. So how she grew up with him and he grew up around her or they are living around and he did not notice her every hour. And he did not fall in love with her until she have a zawj, until she have a, a husband. So this guy is trying to refute a logic, but he's not refuting the story because he is just trying to say, but this is not right. Let us use Google Translation and show you how this guy, he lied by saying that this is refuting by the same guy. It says, the narration are not corrected about what Imam Ibn Arabi Malik uh, he said uh, as if they are saying that the Prophet Allah pray on him not for him he saw her and she fell in his heart then it's a void if only her husband has a gift the translation is really stupid here so, I mean, Fifi, he knew Arabic, and he knew I'm not lying. In front of you, it says. So, they live together, they are around each other, and then how come now he noticed her that she is pretty? But Ibn al-Arabi is the same person who is saying, if the Prophet, the Prophet have 16 privilege, potato. Let us go here. And this is why you don't want it to open the page and read for us. 
Ibn al-Arabi himself saying the following, وَأَمَّا مَا أُحِلَّ لَهُ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ فَجُمْلَتَهُ سَتَّةَ عَشَرَ And what is made a lawful for the Prophet, which is a privilege, 16 things. I will use Google Translation. This is Ibn al-Arabi talking. And Al-Qurtubi is quoting Ibn al-Arabi about the privilege of Muhammad. Now, if Al-Qurtubi is a stupid and he is a scholar, so you Muslim, you call him a scholar for what reason? Ibn al-Arabi confirmed that this statement إِذَا وَقَعَ بَصَرَهُ عَلَى إِمْرَأَ وَجَبَ عَلَى زَوْجِهَا طَلَاقُهَا وَحُلُّ لَهُ نِكَاحُهَا قَالَ إِبْنُ الْعَرَبِي هَكَذَا قَالَ إِمَامُ الْحَرَمَيْنِ And this is what the Imam of Al-Haramayn he said. And what other scholars they mention in the story of Zayd? And this is a refutation supposedly. So it is mentioned truly in the Quran interpretation in many Islamic books, not only in Al-Qurtubi, that the Prophet, when he saw Zainab, he have a privilege. And this is why now they are counting for us the privilege of Muhammad. What is the privilege of Muhammad? There are 16 privileges. They are 16 privilege. Let us find them. Sixteen privilege for a prophet of Allah. What are they the sixteen privilege? He start counting for us the privilege Muhammad he have in this page. And then entered he arrived to the ten. Most of them is about sex and booty. The best of the booty. Privilege given only for Muhammad. The best of the booty. The best of the money. The biggest TV screen. And then he arrived to the one number ten. And he say here, Oh. Actually, here he continue with more numbers, more than sixteen. Uh, here he says, huh. "Number ten, if his eyesight falls on the woman." Her husband must divorce her, and her marriage is per permissible for him. Fifi, he said, well, no, he have to wait uh, idda. He have to wait three month period. <laughs> that is not important now, because I said so. He can have her immediately. Yes, immediately. Waiting for the idda will not change the fact that she is his. That's it, the guy, the guy, the husband, he must divorce the wife for who? For Muhammad. Who is going to sleep with her when the three months is over to be sure she is not carrying a child from the previous man? Muhammad. So immediately. She is his immediately. If his eyes fall on a woman. And why Fifi did not read that for us? And tell us why even your Muslim saying this? Instead, he quote for us saying that it doesn't make sense that the Prophet, he saw her and he fell into her because she was around. This is what Ibn Arabi was saying in the quotation Fifi was saying. He did not deny that Muhammad have a privilege. You see the coward? I will give you the link for this. And you can use Google Translation yourself. You do not need to speak Arabic. 
It's a privilege. They are counting his privilege. Here there is no opinion. This is not opinion. The privilege of the Prophet. Only Muhammad have those privilege. If his eyes fall into a woman, Why Muhammad, if his eyes fall into a woman, the husband must divorce the woman immediately? No comment. Let us go back to the video because this is getting so long. And supposedly I will be alive and again in two hours or three hours, I don't know. And now you will see how fast he take off this, this refutation from the screen. He take it off in a second. A previous section in his commentary where he actually refutes this report and points out that it's weak. This is the interpretation for the Quran. It's See how fast he put it in the screen? He took it right away, you know, fast. And he is showing us why you don't Google, use Google translation like I did so everybody can see what you are reading. Does it say it doesn't? It's not accepted that if his eyes fall into her, or he is saying it is not. It does not make sense that the women she was growing around him, she have no hijab and she was walking around, and now he saw her. But Ibn al Arabi he ignored the fact that Muhammad he saw her because she was wearing certain kind of a clothing. Not only she was around. There's a huge difference. There's a woman. She dressed always outside. I see her. I say hello to her. And one day you see her almost naked. And then Muhammad, his private part move. And this is what the tafsir is saying. So Ibn Arabi was saying, it does not make sense. She's around him all the time. So he saw her. Now he like her when she have a husband. Has a facet. That's bad. He don't accept that to the Prophet. But this is what the story is saying. And the story is saying too that she was mutafaddila. She was almost wearing nothing. Let us go back. Maybe we need to use Google Translation again. Uh, let us go back. <clears throat> Give me a second. All right. <laughs> Fifi refuting me. I like it. See what happened to you, Fifi, when I have time? Ah, let us see now. Let us see what will happen. Leave us a second. A moment and everybody will laugh. <clears throat>
Mm-hmm. See, I have the Hayat in front of me, but I want to find an authentic website. So then I say, oh, this is just, uh, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for some reason See, because you know we don't we do not need to prepare for our what we do here what we say um, you know you need to find the reference so people will not will would not say he is making things up here we go read carefully with me how Muhammad now he saw Zainab? Did he see her normally like she is walking in the street or coming to his house? No. It says here. وَقِيل إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَعَثَ رِيحًا فَرَفَعَتِ السِّطْرِ وَزَيْنَبُ مُتَفَضِّلَ فِي مَنْزِلِهَا فَرَأَى زَيْنَبَ فَوَقَعَتْ فِي نَفْسِهِ So, Ibn al-Arabi, the idiot, he says, this doesn't make sense. Muhammad always, he saw the women. So how now he love her or he have a lost for her to sleep with her when she have a husband? But he ignored the fact that Muhammad, he saw her now almost naked. Let us use Google translation. And again, if you want to find this, you have to go in the page, like let us say, uh, maybe uh, 30 lines, you know, in the page. Like in the second part, let's say there's first part, second part. And here there's a dot, and then this is the part here. So it is Google Translation. You can search when you use Google. Uh, uh, search for the word wind, maybe, in the page. That Allah, he sent wind, and that lift up the curtain. And Zainab, she was mutafaddila, which means she is almost wearing nothing. She is wearing clothing, you know, fit for a wife in the house. Mutafaddila, which means she is wearing something revealing in her house. And then he saw her. Let us click at Google Translate. Okay. And now let us search for the word wind so we can find it easy in the page. Hmm. So Allah, he sent wind, so she lifted the veil and Zainab, who was mutafaddila, not best, mutafaddila, Google translation is translating the word mutafaddila as best. She was almost wearing nothing in her house. And then he saw Zainab and he fall, she fall into himself. He have a desire. So the quotation, this potato he was quoting for us, this guy was trying to refute this point here, not about any women, his eyes fall into her, her husband must divorce her. He said, but Zainab, she was with him all the time. He saw her many times, even before the hijab was revealed, which means she was showing her hair. How come he did not like her? How we knew we didn't like her? I believe that Muhammad was sleeping with the women a long time ago. I believe Muhammad, he married her to Zaid so he can have access to the husband, to the, to the, because he is his son. So if, if people, they ask him, if the wife, she asks him, where are you going? He say to my son. In the same time, he is sleeping with the women. I believe all this story here is a fabrication. Muhammad already is fornicating with the women, who is his own son by adoption. And here, ask yourself a question. This is what the Muslims say about their Prophet. 
not the enemy of, of Islam. Why the Muslim want to say this? And why it is in their book? And the guy, like, did the Muslim threat him, change it, take it off? Did anyone call al to be a liar? Did they uh, say you are not a scholar, you are the donkey? Why you publish his book? Why you call him Imam al qurtubi Imam. Why you call Imam al Arab Ibn al Arabi? So the Muslims are reporting this story for us, and now the Muslims trying to deny the story which they reported for us. Can you believe it? And here you need to ask yourself a question: What this garbage is about? I mean, what? Why all of this about sex? Muhammad he have many wives. Muhammad he have unlimited number of slaves. Why he need to take this woman because she is so beautiful and she is so white. And Muhammadan Muhammad himself is obsessed with white women. Read carefully. She have something special. Zainab, the prophet once came, come to to Zaid, which means the house of Zaid, asking for him. Okay, so he saw Zainab standing and she was a beautiful white Jasima, which means she was big. You know, in the old tradition of the Arab, if the woman is skinny, that means she is not healthy. Nobody will marry her and nobody would like to have to have her as a wife because obviously she is not healthy. This is their tradition. So the bigger she is, the, hot she, the hotter she is. Yummy, yummy. So she is so big and so white. And Muhammad, he saw her and she was the most perfect woman of Quraysh in her beauty. So there is something special. Muhammad is following his lust. Muhammad already have wives. What we will do with the wives he have? Why he need more? Give me a reason. The Muslim, they can have up to four wives. Muhammad already passed that number a long time ago. Why he need this woman? She's white. She's massive. She have big boob. And you know, big boobs in Islam is so important. Even Allah in the Quran, he promised Muslims when they go to the heaven, they will have women with big boobs. Which is additional proof that Allah must be God. Because who is going to promise us big boobs save Allah? Only Allah can promise such a promise. Only good gods can promise such a promise. Bad gods will promise you women with small boobs. And then what do you do? You send them to Thailand to have a surgery? Think about it. So Allah in the Quran, he described for us the heaven. He says, okay, you will have, you will be sitting in your, in your, in your uh, reclining in your uh, couch. Okay. And now that you have, uh, uh, you have a grape. Uh, uh -huh. And then they will give you a wine uh, mixed with zanzabil, which means ginger. And then, uh, then women with big boobs. I don't know even how to say the word. Let me read it. In, in, uh, uh, now Fifi will make fun of my English. Follow... Follow batas, follow batas, batatas. Ah, batatas. This is bat big batatas. This is big batatas. Allah, He promise you, promise you, women with big batatas. Hey, women, how is your potatoes doing? Big potatoes. We do not need you no more. I will convert to Islam, and then I will go and get big potatoes. What do you think? Huge one, potatoes. Look, it says there, follow batos, follow, follow bato, batato, yos, you know, something like that, you know. What is it? And supposedly they are refuting us. I mean, like, we got them busted. I mean, like, <laughs> silence. That's it. Christian Prince is silence. We, we refuted him. Lie number what? <laughs> Unbelievable. So beautiful. Let us finish this video because it's getting more hilarious at the end. Oh boy. The God of boobs. Endless penis.
It says it clearly that if the Prophet of Allah, his eyes fall into a woman. Let us move this. We, we play this part. Let us move to the part he did not speak yet. Okay. Two lies here. As I've just mentioned, CP is using a false report from the Zayd and Zainab matter to argue this point. CP. False report? I'm, I'm reading Al Qurtubi. I'm reading. Guys, I'm, re I'm, I'm reporting false report. <laughs> he claims that this has to do with intercourse outside of marriage and that this should occur immediately. However, the text that CP is referring to clearly states that the Prophet, peace be upon him, got married to Zainab. Not had. Look how good he is. He did marry Zainab. He did not sleep with her. There's a huge difference. Look at the good guy. He go to his son house. He flirted with the wife and he said to her, praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart to live for you. And look how decent he is. He married her. Can you be more decent than the prophet of Allah? You go to your son and the wife is there alone. And then you flirt with the wife. And you say to her with loud voice, my heart flip for you. The wife, she's big and white and beautiful. She start melting right away. The wife actually, the second she heard Muhammad saying such a thing, she could not believe it. She felt like she is in Havana and she want to dance samba. And look how decent this woman Zainab. Obviously, she is in bed with him already a long time ago. When her husband he come, she told the husband that your father was here, and he said this. Imagine how painful it is that a wife she said to her husband, "Your father he was here, and he said that he fall into me." And you are a poor son by adoption. The poor kid, he went to Muhammad immediately. And he said to him, please give me permission to divorce her. Even, even divorce, he don't have a permission to divorce by himself. You see, guys, the husband cannot even divorce the women unless Muhammad say do so. You see how much he controlled them? What kind of a man you are? You need somebody else permission. And then he said to him, this woman, she is hurting me with her mouth. Well, that's mean uh, Zainab, she's a bad woman. So why Muhammad want to have her? Exactly, this is the reason, because she's a bad woman. He don't want a good woman. Do you see? Muhammad do not need good women. He want a bad woman. She is a bad woman, obviously. And you know, imagine if you are just a woman who is married to a friend, you know, I mean, to, to your husband, and he have a friend, a friend, not your father by adoption, a friend, just a friend. What kind of a friend? He go to his own friend house and he flirt with the wife when the husband is away. And I want Farid to tell me, why he did not mention that Zainab, she said, that each time Zaid he tried to sleep with her, Allah, he made his penis swell. <whistles> Fifi, I want you to put a picture of a penis, which is a swelling, on the screen. And don't be shy. Islam, there's no shame in Islam, my friend. Shame is gone long time ago. 
There's, isn't you what Muslim you say? There's no shame in religion of Allah. She said here that after Allah Prophet he flirted with her. <clears throat> Let us go and see where it says each time he wanna have sexual relationship with her. Give me a second. I mean, any of you people you say the prophet he don't have miracles? Liars? Let me show you this miracle. The penis is really miracle. Okay. <clears throat> I'm trying to find the sto the story. What is the story? Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Okay. What happened here? Hold on. Ah, this. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. I'm finding the reference, give me a second. I will show you a miracle which no other religion and no prophet have such a miracle like this. Clear proof that Muhammad is a prophet of God. Guys, I'm looking for the reference, and you will not believe what I found. I mean, Islamic religion is the most awkward, stupid religion ever. Look at this. I'm looking for something different. I'm looking for uh, uh, it should, should appear in the same uh, there in the same page in the Islamic website of Saudi Arabia. But then I found this. I mean, I'm not even looking for this. Excuse my language. What is according to Sharia law? the opinion of entering the finger in the anus of the wife during the in sexual inter <laughs> imagine in islam you send a question to a scholar saying to him hey i'm doing this in my bedroom i enter my fingers into her can you believe it My translation it says cannot be translated why it's coming like this unable to connect to the shared server what is that it says Swedish hold on hold on let me change for some reason it says it choose it as a Swedish Google is confused I think this is a Swedish language Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, translate. This is not Swedish, this is Arabic. Hello. Okay, choose another language. Translate into English, okay. But why it's 
shown it as Swedish. Let's try again. Choose another language. Arabic. What's wrong with this stupid Google? It was working fine. Choose another language. Okay. English. Okay. See, for some reason, it's showing me here that this is, this is a Swedish. I mean, how this has became a Swedish, I don't know. Stupid Google. Uh, this is why translation is coming. Yeah, translation is very weird. It's hard to get rid of a glitter. What is that? I don't know. But anyway, this is what the question is saying. Now let us go back. Uh, to the reference we are looking for. Oh boy. <clears throat> okay, okay, where it is. Give me a second. Something not right. You know, I will not say something without showing the proof. Because you know them. They will say what they like to say. Okay. For some reason, I don't see it here in this page. It should appear in the same page. But there is something... <clears throat> okay. We will find it. Here we go, we found it. 
It took a little bit of time, but it's okay. I mean, pff, what we can do? Scooby Scooby Doo. And the website is not opening. The circle of death. Let us try a different website. Hold on. All right. We, you know, I, I was trying to to get in the official government website of Saudi Arabia, but it not open. So now we have to switch. I had to switch to the government website of Jordan. And here it says, and I will post the link for you. Give me a second. Let me post it for you first. And you can do exactly what I am doing. You can use Google Translation. You can use what? Google Translation. You don't speak Arabic, yes, but there's no problem. So according to here, look at the story here. You see the part where it says the in red? Actually here, they even make it better for us. That Zaid, each time he tried to have sex with her, Allah, he made the penis of Zaid swell. Isn't it, this is amazing, to be honest with you? That now because the Prophet, he wanted this woman who is married to this man, and because he flirted with her, since he flirted with her, the man, he cannot sleep with her. Allah bite his penis. Let us use Google Translation so the Muslim will not say, we are making things up. And this is Tafsir al qurtubi and I don't know why I cannot find it in that page there, the, the page in the official Islamic uh, website of Saudi Arabia. So, if you use the same website, the same uh, book, actually, you know what, let me, let me do this, hold on. Because I prefer to use it because this is appearing in different verse. Hold on. We have to go to verse number 37 and try to find it there. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, verse number 37. Let us see. Uh, for some reason is not showing. Hmm. Well, still we can use the, you know, I mean, the, this is official government website too of uh, of Jordan. So it doesn't matter, really we can use it. It's the same, the same book. So this is Tafsir, the chapter of Al-Ahzab, verse number 37, as you see official government website they have it for you in red all what you need to do click google translation translate to english and let us see what the translation will say zaid get a swollen this is google translation but they are talking about his penis he gets swollen his penis each time he wanted to have sex with her Is it amazing? <laughs> translate, translate, Fifi, translate, translate what is written in your books that the miracle of Allah, Allah, He made the penis of the husband swell. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, brother. Who can come with such a miracle beside Allah Prophet? The wife, she is, and look how good she is, this woman. And now she will say, it's not her who said, people said, okay, well, how do people know? If you know, everything we hear here is something from the people. You say, she say, he say, and they try, you know, that the information transformed to us. So what, we know what the people say. And why you Muslim, you say that if that's true? And why you put it in your book?
Shall we finish this uh, video of uh, Fifi or continue? He's too small, but he's so cute. But what we can do? Very cute. Alhamdulillah. Religion of big boobs. So supposedly this guy, he know, he refuted us, and uh, you know, like he knew everything, and that's it. We got them busted. Well, that is so I can't. Read it for myself. This is the same chapter we are talking about, uh, lady. I you know you are not listening to me. This is the same chapter. Listen, this is this is the same chapter, chapter thirty-three, verse number fifty. Eighth lie. So here is a screenshot of verse fifty from chapter thirty-three. CP is arguing that this chapter states that if the prophet peace be upon him finds a wife attractive, then the husband has to divorce his wife. Now, can you find that being said in this verse? Ah, in this verse? You idiot, I'm showing her on the screen that I see her. She speak Arabic. You see, you see, you see how you refute me? It doesn't say that in the verse. That's it. What a bomb. In fact, you donkey, it says that in the verse. Let us go back to the verse so we can laugh. Allah is saying to Muhammad, you hypocrite, coward, liar. Why you say to the husband, don't divorce your wife when you like her? And I told you, you will have her. <laughs> Isn't she married at that time? Read carefully. Behold, though didn't say to the one who had received the grace of Allah and the favor, retain, retain in wedlock the, the wife and fear Allah. Who's saying that? Muhammad saying, Allah saying to Muhammad, why you say that? But didn't Allah, but, but, but in your heart, you know what Allah, he made law for, for you, what Allah made law for, for him to have married women. Her name is Zainab. In the verse, we can find it too. Even though I was not reading the verse, I was reading the interpretation. What kind of God he say to a man who is a prophet of God? Why you are saying to the married man, keep your wife? If this translation is tough for you, we can change the translation. Let us change the translation. Because if he might don't like it, this is Yusuf Ali. Let us take uh, Muhammad uh, Biktal and uh, Hilali Khan. Uh, here we go. Uh, sorry, Hilali Khan, Hilali and Khan. Hmm. Beautiful, beautiful brother. Translation, okay. And remember, when you say to him, to Zaid, Ibn al-Harith, you know, prophet, whom Allah has bewitched a grace and uh, guide him into Islam. I mean, look at this guy, he added too, too many brackets. Come on, Jay, just a joke. Let us change this one, a different one. All those brackets, uh, let us see. Uh, let us go to Big Tal, maybe shorter. They add too much spices. And uh, though I said this guy is copying uh, Yusuf Ali. <laughs> so Allah is saying to it, you know, why you are why you say to the one man, keep your wife to thyself and fear Allah. And though they just hide in the mind that which Allah has to bring to light, what Allah bring to light? That Allah He gave Muhammad permission to have her. To have a married woman at this moment the woman she is married to Zaid Allah saying to Muhammad you stupid idiot why you say to the man keep your wife when Allah told you take her as long as potato he like Ibn Kathir isn't it him who said he like Ibn Kathir let us go to Ibn Kathir shall we give me a second Chapter 33, verse number 37. Ibn Kathir. <laughs> Remember, this is your favorite choice. You are the one who chose Ibn Kathir, so don't tell me you don't like him now. Whatever Ibn Kathir says, I will take it. Okay. This is Ibn Kathir. And this is the Muslim website, and this is their translation, which is a false translation, and eight, more than 80% of the Arabic words are gone. But we will go with it. Okay. 
It says here, and Allah he rebuke his messenger. And the story of Zainab, Zayd and Zainab, Allah he rebuke him. What happened? What happened? Allah tell his prophet who told his freed slave Zayd who was one of whom Allah bestowed grace on him okay what he told him read carefully and do and you have done a favor to him that favor to him so you can have sex with his wife now mean by freeing him from slavery and he was a great leader hold in high esteem blah 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 because he has a high leader now we have to sleep with his wife he was known as beloved and his son the son of who Muhammad was known as the beloved son okay so what he said to him I don't know why this page doesn't go. Okay, here now no, it goes. He said to him, But you did hide in yourself that which Allah will make manifest. You did fear the people, whereas Allah had a better right that you should fear him. Uh -huh. Muhammad is fearing the people. Why? Because he is you know, going to have the married women. He will take care of him, her husband. So he's the hypocrite, he go flirt with the women, and when he go, when the husband come to him, he said to him, come on, man, keep your wife, man, don't divorce her, man. But the guy, he just his wife just told him that he is the, your prophet, your father was here, and he flirt with me, and he wanted to do boom, boom. And obviously, he was doing boom already. And then he said to him, hmm, huh, but you did hide in yourself that which Allah will make manifest you. Did you feel the people where Allah had better right? that you should fear him mm -hmm. and then so when Zaid complete his aim with her and look here at the first translation it says فَلَمَّا قَضَى زَيْدٌ مِنْهَا وطرا. he finished his have, have enough, enough with her which means sleeping with her we gave her to you in marriage you see here the word this is the word marriage زَوَّجْنَا زَوَّجْنَا you see the زَوَّجْنَا Okay, when her marriage to Zaid was over and he had separated from her, we married her to you. Okay, hold on. So Muhammad was saying to the husband, keep your wife for you, while Allah was rebuking him, saying why you are saying that to the man. And here we need to ask the Muslims, do you agree that Muhammad he committed sin here? This is why Allah he rebuked him by saying to the husband, Don't divorce her. Because it says rebuke. Do you know what rebuke means? Allah rebuking the messenger. If we go to different interpretation, same chapter 33, verse number 37. And let us use English. Okay, and this is Tafsir al Jalalain. Okay, let us see what it says. So, Allah, He mentioned here, He says, the Prophet, He says to him, to His adopted son, adopted son, they don't even hide it, retrain, retain your wife. For yourself and fear God before divorcing her but you had hiding in your heart what God was disclosed that he was to manifest of your love for her guys do you see the love story here this is Romeo and Juliet and Allah is involved in it Juliet is married to Romeo and Allah, he got upset from Muhammad because Muhammad told Romeo, keep your wife, man. Keep your wife, hypocrite. While in his heart, Muhammad, he want her badly. 
And the Quran saying, because you fear people saying he married his son, his own son, wife. And the fact that should Zaid part with her, you would marry her. You fear people would say he has married his son wife. <laughs> So, okay, Allah, okay, Muhammad, why you want to do that? I mean, there's millions of women, and Muhammad have a lot of wives already. Why he want, why Allah, he insists he want her to him? The Muslim, they will say, because Allah want to teach us that adoption is forbidden. Are you saying Muhammad, he committed sin when he adopted a son? He was wrong? How come Allah did not say to him before he do that? When Muhammad thought about adopting this person, Obviously, to get access to the wife. Okay, this is a slave. I will free him. I don't have kids. I cannot have kids. He's very kind to me. And now I will marry him to most beautiful women. And then I will go to his house where nobody can question why I'm going late or staying there or even sleeping there. He's my son. Even the wives, they cannot ask. Because Arab, they used to respect themselves when it's come to this. If they adopt somebody, they will never sleep with the wife. And actually, the story here in front of us saying that, he was afraid what the Arab will say, that he is married to his own son wife. So the Arab don't do that. So Muhammad, he made a verse, claiming that Allah told him, why you are, why you are telling him to keep your wife when in your heart you want her. Isn't it obvious that this is not the God of Muhammad? This is Allah, Aka Muhammad. Now, do we have any Muslim would like to call? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? What is the guy? His name is Abdullah Al Harith, something like that. Are you still there, my friend? Is he still there or he's gone? <clears throat> Is he still there? Let us see. Well, it says he is not online. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? So when those Abdul, they try to refute us, it's a joke, you know? I mean, what kind of a prophet even need to be put in such a position And when you count his privilege, you say number one, number two, or number three, and you claim that this is not really a privilege. You are a liar. Even Ibn al-Arabi, he agreed. Abdullah, are you there? If you want, I open my pal talk. If you like to, you know, this is your time now. Always all six all cult leaders they share one thing they want your money and they want to sleep with your wife all of them no exception any muhammadan would like to refute us or correct us Do you like twisted words? You yeah, like what? Like Quran? Labik, Allahumma labik. You are pagan. Look at look look at the name you have. Labik, Allahumma labik. This is what the pagan used to say before Islam. Labik, Allahumma labik. Your name is the statement where the Arab pagan Arab like Muhammad, including Muhammad, used to say before Islam. 
Prove me wrong. You still pagan, nothing changed. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik. The pagan Arab, they used to go around the Kaaba before Islam saying labbaik Allahumma labbaik. <laughs> and can you tell us what labbaik means so we can laugh? And Mr. Twisted Words, why you don't call me and tell me what you like to say to, to, say to us? Why you don't call us? Call, call me and get me busted in front of everybody. Here we go. This is your opportunity. Twisted Words. I show people Twisted Words. What Twisted Words? It's in front of you. It says of the fact that that should Zaid part with her and you would marry her. You feared people. You they would say he has married his son wife. This is your book, not my book. I'm showing the proof. Everything I'm saying is in the screen. <laughs> Look at this guy. It's in the screen. Everything I mentioned since I started until now is in the screen. Show the proof. So what we are doing here? We are showing you zucchinis. Anyone? Show us the proof. Any Muslim? Have you ever heard of a God? If I am going after a married woman, God should say the opposite for me. He should say, okay, good Muhammad, you told him don't keep your wife, that's good. No, the opposite, he said to him, why well, you are saying to him, keep your wife when you want her? And Allah is a sponsor in Muhammad saying, I will give her to you. Why you say that to him? Isn't it you Muslim you say, the most ugly thing in the eyesight of Allah is divorce? How come Allah now in favor of divorce? And Zaid, he said that this woman, she have a bad tongue. She hurt me with her tongue. That's mean she's a bad woman. Why Muhammad he want to marry a bad woman who she hurt her husband by saying bad word to him? And if she is a bad woman, that's mean Muhammad is a bad man. Why? Because the Quran says bad women for bad men. Good men for good women which means no bad woman will marry a good man and no bad man will marry a good woman. So if your Islamic book saying that Zaid she was insulting her husband, using her tongue against him, she's a proud, she humiliate him, she call him names, and then the husband, he have to divorce her because she is bad, then we find that Muhammad he want the same woman. Read with me this verse. And by the way, I will make a video about this verse. Because this verse here is an additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Al Khabithat ul Khabithin. Wal Khabithun al Khabithat. Wat Tayyibat ul Tayyibin. Wat Tayyibun al Tayyibat. Very stupid, repeating the same sentence. So, bad women marry bad men. Bad men marry bad women. Is that true? Who agree? According to this verse, bad men, they will never marry bad women. Sorry, bad, a good woman. Bad women only marry bad women. Bad men only marry bad women. And bad women only marry bad men. Who agree with this garbage? And good men only marry good women this is the destiny of Allah <laughs> is that true who in the world can come with such a logic this is stupid there's many good women married the, the bad men and the opposite vice versa but to say only bad women they marry bad men and only bad men marry bad women 
That is the most stupid argument ever. Why I don't discuss the gospel of Barnabas? That's a good question. Why you don't accept it yourself, you idiot? As long you 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 know there's something called gospel of Barnabas. So why you yourself as a Muhammad and don't accept it? Gospel of Barnabas says the Messiah is Muhammad, you idiot. Do you accept that? Do you? This is a book written long, written after Muhammad, obviously. And saying the Messiah is the same guy, Muhammad. So why you don't accept it yourself? Hmm. He's trying to change the topic. Poor guy. Good to try. If you want to change the topic, let's talk about the big boobs. That's more interesting. Gospel of Barnabas, potato. Why you don't yourself, you don't accept it? You see, the Muslims, they say things, it's really funny and stupid. They themselves, they don't accept that book, and they ask us, why you don't accept it? Do you accept it? <laughs> if it is good, then accept it. So to ask me to accept a book you yourself don't accept, that means you are a potato. Uh, Bashar Assad, who care about this, you know? Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? Anyone? All right. Supposedly, I will go live uh, soon. But I think now, because we stayed here, I was I was thinking to stay here for 20 minutes. Just this guy is a kid. It's not even worth to, to talk about him for long. So let us do this. We will change the timing for the coming video. Um, until tomorrow, maybe. Okay. Let us see. Yeah, I will change it later. So we will not go live again because already we are. I mean, it's already 7.13 p.m. Last call. Any Muslim want to call us? Any Muslim would like to call us? Waraq ibn Nawfal, he was kicked out of ministry when he was a Nasara. Uh, uh, it's not Waraq ibn Nawfal, it was uh, uh, Buhaira. See, Muslim, they mention a person, his name is Arahi Buhaira. He is Buhaira the monk. And supposedly he is the one who told Muhammad that he is a prophet because he saw a moor in his back. <laughs> Hey, by the way, guys, who of you have a mole? Do you have a mole in your back? If you have a mole in your back, you are legitimate prophet of Allah. This is the seal of the prophet. You know, they cannot even understand the Quran. This is how silly this religion is. They said to you, the prophet, he have a mole in his back. And that is a proof that he's a prophet. I mean, with the mole in the back, they say this is the seal of the prophet Hood. Allah stamped him. <laughs> but the Quran doesn't say that where it says that he have a stamp it says he is the seal of the prophet he is not he have a seal do you know how to read Muslims do you know how to read I mean look their book saying that Muhammad is the seal of the Prophet, they made him, he have a seal in his butt. How awkward those who try to teach Islam. This is the verse. Does it say Muhammad, he have a seal? Why, he's a cow? It says he is the seal, not he have a seal. Khatamun Nabiyyin. Are you scared? Yeah, for sure I'm scared. Since I saw in the Quran that Allah will give us women with big boobs. I'm terrified. I mean, how big? I mean, can't you give us like a size at least? 
what if the women boob is like in a size a size of my my living room and what like she hit me with it like boom boing 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 you, can you imagine big big boobs this is heaven my friend women with big boobs women with small boobs they can kill you women with big boobs can do what so I'm scared of you. This is why I'm saying to you, call me. You see how scared I am? And you don't want to call me because I am scared, right? <laughs> are you scared? So why you don't call me? Because you are scared. Oh, you will not call me because I'm scared? Yes. Oh, okay. But you know what? So what? Like, I mean, call me even if I'm scared. No, I will not call you because you are scared. <laughs> It's so clear who, who is the scared one. So the Muslims, they have the most funny, awkward understanding to their own cult. Where it says that Muhammad have a mole. It says he is the seed of the prophet. He is the last prophet. And the funny, do you remember the guy we called, you know, he called us with his two kids and we asked him uh, about Muhammad being a prophet. He says a prophet in Arabic have different meaning. Doesn't mean he prophesied. Like what? <laughs> um, yeah, the name of Muhammad, obviously, you see, I believe, I believe that Muhammad is a person who he tried really, like the, the Muslim he mentioned to us, the book of Barnabas, which is a false book where it's speaking about Muhammad as the Messiah. Obviously, Muhammad, he wanted to replace the Messiah. That's why he called himself Al-Mahi, which means he is the eraser. Eraser of what? He will erase all religions and he will erase Christianity. He will erase Judaism. So Muhammad, when he called himself the praised one, he claimed to be the Messiah as God on earth because only person, one person is the praised one. That is God. Did you ask yourself, if you are a Muslim and you claim that you worship God, his name is Allah, then how the Prophet, his name is the praised one. So if Muhammad is the praised one, Allah is who? Is who? If Muhammad is the praised one, Allah is what? Muhammad is a fraud. Many people, they say he's not exist. It's possible, but that would not help me in my case to prove it. I mean, to, to fight Islam. So I, I go with what they believe it's exist. But I believe strongly that Muhammad, he was copying a man, his name, prophet, or he claimed to be the Messiah. His name is Manny. His name is what? Manny. If you go and read the book of Manny or what is ever, ever left of it, you will find tons of the stories Muhammad he came with is coming from Manny. Journey, angels, you know, he's the praised one, everything. That is Muhammad. And maybe you do not know much about this person because you don't, you know, I mean, we have different level of education for people, but you can go and search about Manny. No, Manny is a fraud. He's not a good person. But he is, let us say, not like Muhammad. He's not violent. He did not go in war. He did not uh, kill. He did not, etc. But he is a fraud, obviously. He claimed to be the Messiah. And you will find tons of Muhammad stories is extremely similar to what Manny he said. Maybe we should go some time and we speak about Manny. All right. And by the way, the religion of Manny became very popular in the Middle East. So nobody can say, nobody can deny that. No, we never heard of this guy. You know, he, he actually, he became a major belief in the Middle East. 
this person. And actually, I believe until now, there's people who believe in him. In him. Until now. Let us see. Look, even in China, Iran, Persia, China, uh, Afghanistan, I mean, this this is went way far with this fraud. <clears throat> you can go on and read his history, just search, just search his history and you will find it. All right. Uh, Why you don't debate smile to hell? Who, who is okay? Well, let him call me. I will debate him. <laughs> I mean, are you a joke? <laughs> All of you Muslim bust me. Don't you see? I mean, you Muslim bust me to the point nobody of you dare to speak to me. I mean, do you see how much I'm getting busted? What was my topic for today? The next one? It was hot life debate join us Muslims do you see the topic hot life debate join us Muslims where is the Muslims my pal talk is open where is the Muslims where is the scholars who want to get me busted hmm you are hero in front of your Muslim girls saying to them brother sister alhamdulillah if you want to put your finger in your uh, in her, it's okay. Busy asking serious questions. Like, is it true that we have sex with Zen? That's what you are busy with, right? Question, brother. Question: Can a jinn have sex with my wife? Sure, he can. <laughs> Especially you. <laughs> Where is your scholars? And the answer: Yes, brother. When a man he has intercourse with his wife, and does not name Allah. The jinn call around his yutra and he has intercourse along with him. Takbir! Brother, did you say that a prior before you have sexual intercourse with your wife? I'm sure you forgot many times. But the news to you, brother, your wife, she been, been boom boom by a devil. <laughs> Just get out of here you are just a kid i think you are a troll guys look at this look at this brothers and sisters al hakim at turmudi in this reference ibn jarir in this reference in his tafsir in his reference narrated that mujahid said when a man he has intercourse with his wife and does not name Allah the jinn the shaitan call around his jutra and has sexual intercourse along with his wife I told you shaitan he looked like a candom nobody believed me before I told you one million time that the first candom was Mr. Shaitan so now you are going to have sexual intercourse with your wife and you forgot to say Bismillahi alhamdulillahi lahumma jallibna wa jannib al-saytana ma razaktana Shaitan, he round you himself around your penis oh, sorry, around, around, yeah, around your penis La hawla wa la quwata illa billah We have a threesome now Satan and you and your wife 
and I'm very sure your wife she will like it. <laughs> what is this? And look, he have a link for you here. Let me let me find you a better link. Hold on. Who on the reference? When a man has sexual intercourse with his wife. Okay, the gin call with his wife. Okay, that's deep. This is knowledge, brother. I mean, which religion can come with anything like except Islam? This is the only religion can can do this. We have to be a, we have to be serious, you know. I mean, come on, we have to be serious. No religion in the world can come with such a knowledge. Unseen sexual intercourse. Like you don't see him, but he's there. You think you're alone with your wife, but he is there. And your wife, she say, honey, today you did so good. Yes, because he was there. Hello. She would say to you, I was on fire. Because genie is made from fire. Hello. <laughs> you tell me, can can things go, go stupid more than this? Honestly. <clears throat> Let us see. Oh, wow. I found you even something better. brothers and sisters who want this website later i will ask you for it you guys give it to me okay because later i might take me time you know sometimes it takes you really out of time to find reference because we need it in english otherwise in arabic i can't find it in a second look at this look at this brother alhamdulillah is it true that if a person does not say bismillah before having intercourse with his with their spouse then Satan share with him that. Hmm. The guy is from Germany referred that I am very weak in Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> no problem my friend it must be a true story <laughs> so guys uh, answer by Sheikh Muhammad Al Munjid this is a big Sheikh in Saudi Arabia but he's a potato with regard the Satan having share with one does not say Bismillah Allah says and they become partner on their wealth and their children's and promise and promise them but satan does not promise them except delusion and then he says the following are what some scholars said about the interpretation of the word children's regarding children it was said that this means the children's of zina you have to say bismillah when you are doing fornication <laughs> <laughs> and guys here the fifth the fifth is the most important one this one will make you dizzy I'm sure now many of you are worried when they have sex with their wife I'm telling you, you are your marriage in a great danger, and you might have uh, some sexual disease now. The fifth was a view narrated of, from Mujahid who said, "If a man has intercourse and he does not mention the name of Allah, the jinn warp himself around his penis and has intercourse along with him, and this is what referred in the verse, etc."
Be honest with yourself. Can you find better religion than the religion of Allah? I mean, whatever people want to say to you, whatever people they attack this cult of Islam, you know, you have to admit that this is the best. This is the best of the best. Who won this link? Who won this link? You guys want this link? Okay. Because later I will ask you for it. And you guys, you better give it to me. Otherwise, I will ask Shaitan to join you. You know? <clears throat> Did you guys save it? You go to number five, where it says that if you don't say the name of Allah, Shaitan, he will round himself around uh, his penis and he has intercourse along with him. And this is what the verse meant. I'm really scared of having sex. What if once I forgot to say the Alhamdulillah? I mean, put yourself in my shoes. What if I like, get so much tempted and like I'm in hurry before you know before the season is over, because you know those women they 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 they, they might change their mood in two seconds. Like okay, she say okay, come finally okay after like all the, the things okay, and now you do muta and you pay her money and now she say and then we are excited so you forgot to say Bismillah, and then what happened? Shaitan is waiting for it. He jump in the top of your penis. And he round himself. I wish I can draw that for you, but this is too much. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. Uh, I'm trying to save this uh, website to my favorite. Hold on, where am I going to save it? We need to save this one. Abu Muhammad al Munjid. Uh, I mean, we have tons of topics to talk about. Okay, I think we have enough for today. My my legs hurt because I was I'm bending my knee all the time, sitting behind this computer, and I'm afraid. Guys, do you think Shaitan he round himself around my knee? Because when I started, I did not say Alhamdulillah or Bismillah. Mimi Hijab, he never say Inshallah. Let me see my knee if there is anything rounding around it. You have to be careful. What if you wanna like let's say uh, you put your finger in uh, some food and you wanna eat it? Like you know you are a finger, you eat, you, you like to taste with your finger, and you say Bismillah, Satan will round himself around your finger. I mean, according to Muhammad, Shaitan, he go and sleep in your ears. Uh, sorry, he piss in your ears. He sleep in your nose and he jump in your mouth. And Shaitan, if you don't say the prayer before you enter the bathroom, he go inside your anus. And now Shaitan is changing all those locations. He is at the top of your penis. Muslims, I have a question. Why Shaitan he don't jump inside the woman's vagina instead of jumping around the man penis? It's just a question. Hmm? I mean, which one is easier? And by the way, how big the Shaitan is? I mean, he is so small, so cute. He sleep in your nose and now he's around your penis. <laughs> Invisible condom of Allah, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, guys, I made a video, previous this one, and not many of you did watch it. I'm not sure why don't people watch. I mean, that video is hilarious, funny, extremely funny. If you think this one is funny, that one, the one it says Bruce Lee was a Muslim. If you did not watch it, go watch it because I will take it down very, very soon. You know, maybe uh, before I go to bed today, uh, before I say Bismillah, and not because I don't have a wife, but I mean, you never know. I mean, you decide to say Bismillah and anything you do, otherwise, Shaitan, he will round himself somewhere. You never, I have no idea. And you know, we don't want to go there. 
you know we have uh, we have no health insurance brother shaitan is waiting he round himself everywhere yeah shaitan right on himself uh-huh true story but how muhammad he knew this i mean this guy is genius like when muhammad he said allah he loved those who do sneezing i thought about it many times and you know because we are limited we are not smart like the prophet Allah he loved those who sneeze and he hate those who yawn and sneezing is from Allah and yawning from shaitan and shaitan if you yawn he jump inside your mouth and he laugh like ha 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 look at this genius the messenger of Allah said the sneeze is from Allah if you have corona and you're sneezing it's from Allah and the yawn is from Satan so when one of you he yawn let him cover his mouth the Muslim they made an article about this they says the Prophet he taught us how to fight corona centuries ago 1400 years ago but they will not tell you the rest of the story Muhammad he says if you're young cover your mouth but they will not tell you that the Prophet he loved those who sneeze without covering their you cover your mouth only when you yawn why why only when you yawn when you sneeze the the, the saliva will go far away way more far than uh, yawning with his hand from when he says, ah, ah, a shaitan laugh from inside his opening. <whistles> now it is time for me to use my art. Excuse me. I mean, I tried not to do so. And I know some of you hate me for doing, using my skills in art. But I mean, what you can do? Sometimes things happen. So now, brother, Oh, hold on, let us choose this page. You are, this is you. Okay, this is you. Yeah, you, you, uh, uh, Johnny, this is you. This is Johnny. What happened to Johnny? He looked like, a, hold on. Sorry guys, I'm looting. I'm I'm using the lo the long equip equip like uh, equipment equipment uh, like a a like capolo, like stuff, you know, like whatever. Yeah, I I will, I will change the brush. Excuse me. So this is you. This is your eyes. Look how it's your eyes, and this is your hair. You are like Zulkarnain, your hair is everywhere, you know? Like Mimi. And this is your nose. And this is your mouth. And now you are sneezing and your mouth is open. Shaitan! He jump in your mouth. Let us make his mouth a little bit more acceptable, like, you know, scientifically, I mean, scientifically. You know, last time I made a, <laughs> I made a gallery of art, you will not believe it, how many people they attend. <laughs> yeah, you know, they closed the gallery for... Anyway, it seems the topic. So, Satan... When you do that, Shaitan, he jump inside your mouth. He's here now. And he's laughing like, ha, 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 ha. Let us make it, you know, more clear for the slow one. Ha, ha, this is Arabic. We don't want ha, ha in Arabic. Ha, ha, ha. This is Shaitan in your mouth now. You want that to happen to you? Be honest with me. Do you want such a thing to happen to you? Put yourself in the shoes of Johnny. 
Johnny is a Christian person. He don't say Bismillah. And now his mouth is open because he is yawning. And what happened? The disaster. Shaitan, he jumped inside his mouth in his opening and he say, ha, ha, ha. Do you want that to happen to you? You don't have a shame, don't you? What's wrong with you? But by the help of Allah Prophet, we knew now what's happening when we do yawning. So now we cover our mouth so shaitan will not get the opportunity to jump inside our mouth and he does lie, laugh at us and he say, ha, ha, ha. Brothers and sisters, join me to fight the ha, ha, ha movement. It's a big movement sponsored by the devil he himself is the one who is doing this ha 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 movement and here you need to ask yourself if the prophet is not a prophet and he not have no connection with the sky knowledge how you receive this information who knows such an information save a prophet of god if not the prophet all of you christian now Shaitan, he will be doing that to you. And from now on, all of you, when you do yawning, you cover your mouth. Unless you are married, then you do not need to do that. She is covering your mouth anyway. I mean, the second you open your mouth, she will shut it up, especially if you are Abdul. Any Muslim have a comment? Anything? Now the Muslim, they will make 1,000 videos to refute this video. <laughs> but they will not call me. My Skype is open. I mean, my Pal Talk is open and nobody is calling me. Obviously, they have nothing to say. Until I go, oh, hold on. There is a Muslim woman, she said, she said to me in the comment, guys, I said I should go from an hour ago, right? Unbelievable. I hate you all. She said, uh, do you remember the video we made about a guy who he left Islam in Kuwait, the TV host? She said, if a, if a bad person, he come to you with the news, check it out. Don't believe him. And I wonder when a Muslim woman, she speak about a fasiq, which means a bad person. I mean, who is a fasiq more than Muhammad? How come you don't do check out what Muhammad say, but when we say you don't believe us? Muhammad, he went to the moon, nobody saw him. Muhammad uh, went to the seven sky, sorry. He went to the, the tree of Allah. Even Allah, he have a tree. This is not a tree of Adam in the garden of Adam and Eve. In Eden, no. This is in the seven heaven. And underneath the tree of Allah, Muhammad, he found the Nile River. The first discovery child prophet. In the seven heaven, he found the Nile River and Euphrates. Which is convincing me that Muhammad did not go to heaven. He went to Ethiopia. And then he stopped in his way to Erdogan. <laughs> because Euphrates is coming from the south of Turkey now, which will not be Turkey not long time from now. It's going to be destroyed. And Sihan wa Jihan, our rivers are known. Those are four rivers are known. Sihan wa Jihan wa Euphrates, they are coming in from that territory. And the Nile is coming from Ethiopia. So how Muhammad, he went to heaven in the seven heaven to the top sky and yet he found there under the tree Sihanu wa Jihanu wa, wa, and Euphrates and the Nile River don't ask questions Muhammad he says so we believe it true but if I say something is not true if I say yesterday I went to the sky and I found the Nile River under the tree of God 
People will laugh at me. They will say the Nile is in Ethiopia, you idiot. Euphrates is in Turkey. And they are not even close to each other. There's there's thousands of miles between them. How they are they, both of them are coming from another tree. Yes, brother. Hmm. The hadith of the cat and the pig on Noah Ark is Sahih or Daif. Anything is embarrassing is Daif. You see, this is this is what this is Sahih Muslim. Sahih. But any Muslim can say to you is Daif. Daif is uh, you know Daif is a Daif argument, as Hamza he said. He said when the Muslim they use the argument of Daif, this is Daif argument, it's a weak argument. Because anything is funny, stupid, Muhammad said, they will say it is weak. Anything. As long as it's embarrassing. So it's a moody thing, you know. Otherwise, weak hadith is accepted. Who said that we weak? It's mean have a rank. The second you say it's a weak, it's mean it is included. It has a rank, not rejected. Otherwise, we will not give it the weak. We will give it more description. We will add to, to it like we cannot find it. We cannot find reference of it. We cannot find that's it. We rejected, rejected, not weak. Like. Uh, if you remember the, the the kid his name is Abbas you know Abbas when he want the same book it's weak Sahih Muslim it's weak when he wants Sahih Muslim is strong right anyway so guys I'm going to change the timing for the coming uh, uh, broadcast because already it's uh, uh, 10 minutes left I mean to the coming broadcast and I don't think I can make it already. I'm here for how many hours? Two hours, 42 minutes. With you all? How lucky I am. Two hours and 42 minutes. With 839 people and not one of them, he made a sandwich for me. And my stomach is, is singing. Singing the Nile River, the Nile River. My stomach is saying to me, is that... It's just this video now. Who's going to cook for you? Huh? What you will eat now? Have fun. Speaking about Muhammad for the last three hours. Do you hear it? I'm honestly, she the, 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 the stomach. Uh, this remind me of the guy who came to Muhammad, and he told him my pro, my 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 brother, he is dying. You know, he's like he's sick. Uh, he's very sick. So Muhammad, he said to him, give him honey. Uh, and then the guy, he went and he told his brother to eat honey or drink honey, depending on how it is. The man, he come again and he told the prophet, my brother, his stomach is getting more bad. The prophet, he said to him, eat honey. The guy he came again and he said to him but my brother is getting more sick he said i told you i told you give him money i said i did and then the prophet he said to him your brother billy is still in a lie and allah told the truth Let us see if we can find the hadith, and this is the last hadith I will share with you for today. And look, the Muslim they say at the end, and the guy he was cured. <laughs> So the guy keep coming, let him drink honey, let him drink honey, let him drink honey. The guy, he come back, he says he is more sick. Let him drink honey, let him drink honey. And then the Muhammad, he, he cannot take it no more. So he said to him, Allah has said the truth, but your brother upon the man has told a lie. <laughs> no comment. 
No comment. Uh, Dr. Muhammad. Imagine you go to the doctor and you tell him my stomach still hurting. You say to you, your stomach is lying and Allah told the truth. And after that, he was cured. Did you see it says he was cured? So made him drink honey and he was cured. Look at the ending. Look, look at the ending. He was cured. What do you want more? Muhammad even didn't ask the guy what is the disease. That's it. They give him honey. What if you have diabetes? Give him honey. The guy is drinking honey, he's getting more sick. So he go, he come back, he go, he come back, he go come. And then Muhammad, when the guy, he said, he heard Muhammad getting angry and he said to him, Allah told the truth and your, your, your brother's stomach is lying. The guy, he got, okay, here we go. He will kill me. So and he never come back because obviously he was cured. Not because his brother, he died. <laughs> Lying in Islam, anything go against Muhammad is lying, even your stomach, even your abandonment. By the way, guys, to be honest, have you ever heard of somebody say it better than me? Abandonment. Actually, I will make a competition with you if you can read English better than me, especially like when it's come to abandonment. Uh, fala, fala, what? Fala, Follow what? Hold on, let me go back. Actually, I'm thinking to open English school, and I will accept only British citizen in it. Not you know, I mean, real, uh, really British, you know, read like Shakespeare, Shakespeare. I mean, you know, like uh, as an example, uh, you know, like uh, let me see what this. Volo potatoes. Yeah, so those women, they we will open a special class to teach you about volo potatoes. Who want to join the class? And you know what? I will not charge you too much for the English uh, classroom. You know, humbly, you know, I mean, I don't want to, I mean, you cannot afford me. And <clears throat> English is so good. And I mean, what they can do I mean so I and you know we have corona now I don't want I don't want to put the pressure in the population so we will open a school and the first class we will teach you about Allah give us women with big hummus the biggest ones you know like hummus whatever you know I mean look at this God it's so beautiful I mean, I can't even. I don't want to use my. This guy, he said, he said he is leaving twelve two hours ago. I don't want to draw this for you, but they are like a huge man, like big, big, big. You know, like big, big, like vola bata bata potatoes. This is the biggest potatoes ever you can get in the heaven. Huge. Who can give you such a promise? Save Allah. Nobody. Only Allah. Thank you very much for joining our English classroom. And I hope your English is improving. I'm sure many of you who don't speak good English, like Sheikh Esper. Sheikh Esper, by the way, is a Muslim. His real name is not Shakespeare. The, 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 the Kuffar, they changed his name from Sheikh Esper to Shakespeare. That's a lie, you know. He's a Sheikh. He's very well known. And he was not a Shia too. He was Sunni. He was very Sunni. And uh, yeah, Vela Tabos, and I, I wish you a great Vela Tabos uh, uh, women for the future. Thank you very much for jo joining us. And every Vela Tabos, we see you. Uh, you know, uh, thank you very much. Okay, uh, hamb uh, hamburger. Yeah, uh, true story. No comment. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish. It's ready. You can download it. And then you can pause it in your YouTube, add subtitle. I know it's long, you can cut it pieces like the Vela Batata Batatotos, cut it pieces, you know. Like, come on, you cannot cut potatoes, you can. So, cut the video small so you can translate it easy and you can make it easier for people to share. Thank you, God bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince, humbly was with you, teaching you perfect English. True story. Take care.